Today, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to install SOLIDWORKS Electrical and, in the process, connect it to an existing installation of SQL Server. The first step is to download the installation files. Go to the SOLIDWORKS customer portal found at SOLIDWORKS.com. Enter your credentials to log in. Click the Downloads and Updates found on the left. On the Downloads page, select the major version of the software to install. Everyone connected to the same database or SQL Server must use the same major version. It's okay to have different service packs. Click on the SOLIDWORKS product and service pack you want to install, and once the end user license agreement is reviewed and agreed to, click download. This downloads a zip file that includes the installation manager used to install the electrical client or any other SOLIDWORKS desktop product. When the download is complete, Launch the SOLIDWORKS setup.exe file that's saved in the Windows download folder. When prompted, unzip the files to your desired or the default location. The installation manager should launch automatically. If you don't see it, then browse to the folder where the zip file was extracted and launch the application file called setup.exe. In the installation manager, choose install on this computer and click next. Enter the serial numbers for each product to be installed. Scroll down to find the electrical application and ensure the serial number information is entered and click Next. This page is a summary of all the products that will be installed. Verify that the electrical application is listed by clicking Change in the upper right. Scroll down and make sure that the SOLIDWORKS electrical is checked. Expand the electrical option to verify that the correct electrical client options are also selected. In the products list, validate that any other SOLIDWORKS product you're trying to also install are selected as well. Then click back to summary. The next step is connecting the data location. On the summary page, scroll down to find the electrical options and click change. The first area to review is the data location. This is where all the projects and related data will be stored. Below that is the collaborative server information where we specify the name of the database server as well as the port it's connecting through. It's recommended to also add a firewall exception for this port to ensure communication. In the SQL Server section, there are options to either install a new SQL Server or connect to an existing SQL Server instance. Since the SQL Server is installed, we will select to connect to it using the login authentication method that was used when setting up the SQL Server. It's either Windows or more commonly SQL Server authentication. Enter the login name and password for whichever method you choose. Confirm all the database and SQL Server information to connect to our existing server is correct. Then click back to summary. We are presented with the terms and conditions. Click on Agree and Download and Install to begin the download and installation.